Hello, welcome to part 2 of this series. Let's move to our 26th question. What is the mesial structure responsible for close back position of the hip joint? Option A. Muscles. Option B. Articular surfaces. Option C. Ligaments. Option D. Combination of all three. And the answer is Option C. Ligaments. Moving to our 27th question. The ratio of disc thickness and the vertebral body weight is maximum in which spine? Option A. Lumbar. Option B. Thoracic. Option C. Sacral. Option D. Cervical. And the answer is Option D. Cervical. Moving to our 28th question. Hyaline cartilages are found in Option A. IVD. Intervertebral disc. Option B. Ears. Option C. Epiglottis. Option D. Joints. And the answer is Option D. Joints. Moving to our 29th question. Instability occurs at which degree sprain? Option A. First degree sprain. Option B. Second degree sprain. Option C. Third degree sprain. Option D. Second and the third degree sprain. And the answer is Option C. Third degree sprain. Moving to our 30th question. How many intervertebral discs are there in the human vertebral column? Option A 20, Option B 21, Option C 22, Option D 23. And the answer is Option D 23. Moving to our 31st question. Which of the following are the cartilaginous connective tissue type? Option A hyaline, Option B fibrous, Option C elastic, Option D all of the above. And the answer is Option D. All of the above. Moving to our 32nd question. Which contribute for the viscous nature of the synovial fluid? Option A. Hydronate component. Option B. Lubricant component. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is Option A. Hydronate component. Moving to our 33rd question. Minimal muscle force is required when the joints are in Option A close pack position Option B loose pack position Option C in between close and the loose pack position Option D in extension And the answer is Option A close pack position Moving to our 34th question When a lateral trunk lean is seen during gait with hip joint pain is known as dash gait Option A. Gluteus medius gait Option B. Analogistic gait Option C. Hysteric gait Option D. Painful gait And the answer is Option B. Analogistic gait Moving to our 35th question Stance phase is dash percentage of the gait cycle Option A. 40% percentage. Option B. 50% percentage. Option C. 60% percentage. Option D. 70% percentage. And the answer is Option C 60 percentage. Moving to 36th question. Center of gravity of the adult human in the anatomical position is slightly. Option A anterior to S1 vertebra. Option B posterior to S1 vertebra. Option C anterior to S2 vertebra. Option D posterior to S2 vertebra. And the answer is Option C anterior to S2 vertebra. Moving to our 37th question, which class is the liver of power? Option A, first order liver. Option B, second order liver. Option C, third order liver. Option D, second and the third order liver. And the answer is Option C, third order liver. Moving to our 38th question, zone of weakness in femur is that Option A, where the system trabecule is relatively thin. Option B, blood supply is less. Option C, muscle coverage is less. Option D, ligaments are slack. And the answer is Option A, where the system trabecule is relatively thin. Moving to our 39th question, metacarpopharyngeal joint of the finger has dash degree of freedom. 
ऑप्शन ई वन डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑप्शन बी टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑप्शन सी थ्री डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑप्शन डी मोर देन थ्री एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम मूविंग टू अवर फोर्टी एथ क्वेश्चन वाट इज इलास्टिसिटी ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रेस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्ट्रेन ऑप्शन बी स्ट्रेस इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्ट्रेन ऑप्शन सी स्ट्रेस इज ग्रेटर दैन स्ट्रेन ऑप्शन डी स्ट्रेस इज लेसर लेसर दैन स्ट्रेन एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रेस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्ट्रेन Moving to our forty-first question, how many layers are there in a joint capsule? Option A, single layer. Option B, double layer. Option C, three layer. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is option B, double layer. Moving to our forty-second question, what is the commonest ligament injury in the ankle? Option A, calcaneofibula. Option B, anterior talofibula. Option C, posterior talofibula. Option D, lateral collateral ligament. And the answer is option B, anterior talofibula. Moving to our forty-third question, the role of gastrocnemius at the knee joint is. Option A, static stabilizer. Option B, mobilizer of the flexion. Option C, dynamic stabilizer. Option D, synergetic for knee flexion. And the answer is option C, dynamic stabilizer. Moving to our forty-fourth question, the strongest ligament in the hip is. Option A, iliofemoral. Option B, ischiofemoral. Option C, fibrofemoral. Option D, ligamento tortoris. And the answer is option A, iliofemoral. Moving to our forty-fifth question, which is not an anatomical pulley. Option A, flexor digitorum profundus contraction. Option B, quadriceps contraction. Option C, hamstring contraction. Option D, peroneal contraction. And the answer is option C, hamstring contraction. Moving to our forty-sixth question, the trabecular system is weak in the spine. Option A, anteriorly. Option B, posteriorly. Option C, laterally. Option D, in the middle. And the answer is option A, anteriorly. Moving to our forty seventh question, a pathological increase of the neck shaft angle is option A, coxa vara; option B, coxa valga; option C, femoral antiversion; option D, femoral retroversion. And the answer is option B, coxa valga. Moving to our forty eighth question, which is the key force coupled in the scapular motion? Option A, trapezius deltoid. Option B, deltoid serratus anterior. Option C, trapezius and serratus anterior. Option D, deltoid and rotator cuff. And the answer is option C, trapezius and serratus anterior. Moving to our forty-ninth question, quadriceps femoris shows peak force at. Option A, outer range. Option B, inner range. Option C, mid range. Option D, throughout the range. Muscle force is same. And the answer is option C, mid range. Moving to our fiftieth question, the density of bone is option A, percentage of mineralized tissue. Option B, percentage of non-mineralized tissue. Option C, mineralized tissue or total bone tissue volume. Option D, non-mineralized tissue or total bone tissue volume. And the answer is. Option C, mineralized tissue or total bone tissue volume. So that's all for today. If you need clarification for any of the question, do comment in the comment box. I'll be back with the part three of this series soon. So do subscribe to this channel. Thank you.